Just a few years ago, most scientists believed that supernovas were cataclysmic enough to do the job. But astronomer Ido Berger was not so sure. If you open any one of these books and flip to the page that tells you where gold came from, it will tell you that gold came from supernova explosions. But nobody had directly observed supernovas producing elements like gold. And inside computer simulations, virtual supernovas lack the energy to forge these oversized atoms. Clearly, something was wrong. But if supernovas weren't powerful enough, what in the universe was? To form heavy elements requires a lot of neutrons. And so another possible theory was that the heaviest elements were produced in the mergers of two neutron stars in a binary system. Neutron stars are some of the weirdest objects in the universe. They're formed from the collapsed cores of big stars when they die. You're taking a couple of times the mass of the sun and squeezing it down into a ball that's only a few miles across. The electrons and the protons that are flitting around inside of that combine to form neutrons. And what you're left with is an extremely dense ball of neutrons about the size of a city. Neutron stars are extremely dense. If you take just a teaspoon of the neutron star material, it's actually a billion tons. If neighboring stars die together, it's possible for the two neutron stars they leave behind to form a spinning binary pair. But the partnership is doomed. What you're left over with is two incredibly compact, dramatic objects spiraling around each other. Over time, they move in together until finally they can coalesce in the most violent explosion since the Big Bang. The explosion is called a neutron star merger. The amount of energy in this explosion is crushing. There's almost no way to describe it. It's like taking all of the sun's energy that it will ever emit over its entire lifetime and releasing it in a single second. Berger suspects this colossal explosion forges iridium, gold, and lead. But to rewrite the textbooks, he needs hard evidence. It was difficult to uh, convince the community that this was a potential channel for the production of heavy elements. The proof is to actually see this process happening in the universe. June 2013, NASA's Swift satellite spots a short burst of gamma rays from a nearby galaxy. A sure sign that a neutron star merger has just taken place. For Berger, it's the lucky break he's been waiting for. As soon as we knew that there was a gamma ray burst nearby, we knew that this was our one chance for perhaps several years to obtain the right kind of measurements to test the formation of heavy elements. 